Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Project One Gaming. wanted to do, it's almost halfway through October, so I wanted to do my halfway point studio update. Um, where to start? How about, um, quick update for Spookytober. I finally got my zombies in. This is what we're using. Some, uh, Mantic or Kings of War, uh, zombies. The only downfall, I love, you know, the poses or whatever, but I just noticed there's like maybe three or four different models. There's not a whole lot of variation, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in the camera here, but let's see. If you guys can see here, the feet already attached to the platform. So for the um, project, I got to try to like trim off the platform because the, the feet are pretty well part of that, so I don't want to cut their feet off. So that's the only downfall, but I like the size difference. Um, I want to get more accomplished before I show off anything else for Spooky Toberfest, but the size difference really makes the Space Wolves look like the proper uh, size of an Astartes as opposed to like a normal human even, or a zombie or whatever, so there's a cool size difference there. So that's your quick blurb for Spooky Tober. Um, we have a big commission in for um, a client with initials HH. Uh, awesome client so far. Super, super fun to work with because we've been bouncing ideas back and forth. And I love working with people like that. Um, where they say, hey, I was thinking this. And, you know, they are okay with the criticism or taking a realistic approach to things when someone tells them, well, that's cool and all, but it's not going to work because of this. What if we tried that? And we've just been really flowing and got um, some really good ideas going. So i uh, show you some of the stuff we're working on with him. I'd mentioned it in the past, but uh, we have these really, really cool uh, get into light here. Space Hulk uh, gene stealers, and this is the brew board. So this is part one. We actually sold um, trees. Tyranid Army, which was my very first army I ever painted, which got me into wanting to create Project One Gaming. So um, he bought that army, so we're going to paint these to the behemoth, um, high fleet behemoth style, just like how that was. So he's got um, a bunch of gene stealers. Um, we have a, a, full, a full complete Dark Vengeance starter set, and he wants it all painted Blood Angels, which is so cool. The uh, the cultists are gonna be painted, you know, like the box art, the Hellbrute, um, and the Chaos Chosen, and even the, the Sorcerer. Um, I don't want to say the Hellbrute. The Hellbrute will probably, you know, look more like a, a normal Dreadnought, but um, the Sorcerer, or the Sorcerer, the Chaos Lord, and um, the Chosen are all going to be like the Sanguinary Guards. So we got uh, Sanguinary Guard jump packs. We're not gonna do the wings per se. We're just gonna give them the jump packs and make them really fit well and you know, we, we mocked a couple of them up and they look great and then we're doing something different for the uh, sorcerer or I keep saying sorcerer um, the chaos lord he's gonna actually have wings coming out of his unique backpack anyways um, so that's cool but um, so I guess that would be like part two of his commission part three and uh, Eldar is it fire prism yeah fire prism Okay, um, really cool paint job, looking forward to doing this, it's going to be a, a very um, dark base coat of a, a dark purple, and we're going to uh, fade in some, it's not going to be super obnoxious bright purple, but um, we're going to be also putting some glow effect in it with that um, that green I've been obsessing over, the bluish green that I used for like the necrons and stuff like that, that's what's going to be the, the glow. And then we're going to add some uh, diamond pattern, just like that's on, uh, I'm losing the name right now. Uh, the Hellions? Something like that. I'm really wrong. I'm sure I am. Some sort of Eldar. I I'm not familiar with Eldar, really, but um, they have, like, this diamond checker pattern thing. So we're going to try to put that on some of the edges. What I am familiar with... We got a land raider, but I got a bunch of bits coming in for this land raider because we're going to turn it into the uh, uh, ultra, the Tartarus ultra pattern where it's completely las cannoned out 
So um, we got a bunch of bits coming in to convert that. This is actually going to be a death company, um, Land Raider. So that's also to kind of go with the um, the starter set there. So that's all just one commission, which is awesome. Um, on top of that, we got um, we still got these. Sorry, I keep going off the screen. We still got these Dark Angels. Um, I did put them up on eBay for best offer. Sorry, that light's getting in here. Um, they didn't go, but what I'd like to do is, if I have any orc players out there, um, I have a couple requests to do some Luda wagons. Um, so that that's one option, is if you guys want to do a trade for some, um, I don't know, if you got like crappy Lehman Russes or crappy Rhinos or something like that, where we can uh, convert them into Luda wagons. But what I really want are some battle wagons. Um, really bad so if you guys want to do a flat out trade um, let me know what else I feel like I had something else to say oh also um, speaking of tree we talked about his army earlier um, his birthday just passed and we have his birthday present here that we're gonna be working on for him can't really talk about it or show it because if he watches this it's not really a good surprise and we also have our um, well, I don't want to keep saying ours because this is uh, for my studio, um, a new Iwata compressor. Um, can't wait for that. So let me just check that in here. <laughs> my uh, super secret projects back there too. Um, it's another surprise for Tree, but it's more for the game board. He thinks he's he's Dark Eldar now, and he thinks he has this awesome list, and he's gonna crush me. And um, I have a huge surprise for him. So. That, that's what I'm going to go finish working on right now, and I just wanted to give you that quick update. But again, if you guys have any um, any orc players out there who want to do a trade, or maybe you're getting rid of your orc, and you're interested in getting these models, um, let me know, projectpointgaming at gmail.com. And if you guys have any questions, uh, comments, concerns, or you're looking to have uh, anything commissioned for you, projectpointgaming at gmail.com. Thanks, guys.